Greetings from your Butler Lions Club. We bring this historical archive to you with the help of frames and pixels on West North Street right here in downtown. I'm Lion Neil Ashbaugh. And I'm Lion John Herzog. You know, Butler gave the world its very best. The Bantam Jeep. The Brooklyn Bridge. Pullman cars. And many men and women who fought overseas to keep this country free. Butler is a salt of the earth community. Always was and always will be. We banded together to help each other and that spirit still lives here today. A lot has changed over the past 70 years here in Butler County, specifically our hometown, the city of Butler. Remember falling in love in a booth at People's Restaurant, sharing a nice slice of apple pie, or getting a nickel ice cream at Isley's? How about picking out your favorite penny candy at G.C. Murphy's Five and Dime Store? Or getting a nice suit or a hat to look your best from Troutman's or Israel's? Sure. You could fill up Dad's Plymouth at Walker's Pennzoil. But why would you when the best trip in town was a ride after church on the trolley, taking you out to the old carousel at what is today Alameda Park? Well, now you can, and we can help you. Let's take a few steps back in time while we revel in what Butler was and how a few of Butler's very own let us know what it was like to live in the heydays of Butler's time. Let us set the scene for you. The year is 1940, and a film crew came out to Butler to create a record of our town. <laughs> Butler Lyons said that sounds hunky-dory and went with it. We're going to put you into the fine hands of Lyons' Sam Osterling and citizens Joan Chu and Mary Phillips, who will escort you through Butler. Well, Butler from back in the day. Oh, that's the old post, post office. office. Yes. Uh-huh. That's now the art building, isn't it? That's yes. right across from... Uh -huh. uh, what the church that I grew up in, St. Yeah. Mark's. There, there, right. it looks like someone's loading a car to well, deliver mail. That's a post office. Yeah. And here comes Bozeman. Right. I, oh, that was Paul McCabe. Oh. Was it? Uh, oh, look my at bow ties. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> they used to bring the mail twice a day. I was just thinking yes. that, morning yes. And in, in 1940, you got a morning and an afternoon delivery. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, now yeah. we're at the oh. police, police department. department. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's Lucille McClung. With her front door was Oh, my reality. goodness, you're right. Uh, she was in school with me. <laughs> she right after school, she got a job at the police station. She was there quite a while. Oh, there's Butler's Finest. Yes. Oh, yeah. All dressed up and ready to go mm -hmm. on, on, on the beat. Smaller, mm -hmm. smaller worse than we have now, but you saw them more often. You certainly oh, yes. did. <laughs> they were always on the street corners. My goodness. Look at the wonderful old Normal. motorcycles. Who is it? Looks like they're getting inspected before, before they go out to work. Oh, there's Harmon and and Frederick, and then the back. What was this? Oh, and, who's and, oh, and Harry Price is in the back. On the left, who's that? On man? the right. Um, oh, and on the left here yes. is uh, Frederick. Yes. And, yes, uh, it is. Oh, the hospital. That's not. Oh, that was yeah, the front Butler entrance. Hospital. Oh, uh -huh. without the steps, I didn't recognize it. <laughs> That's right. There's the Butler Memorial Hospital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, oh, there's the lady that was at the switchboard. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. You went through her to get anything oh, yes. you wanted. Yeah. That's right. right. Does anybody remember who she might have been? Mm -mm. I don't know. Not in the forties, I should know that. I don't. Because I started working at the hostess shop. In it looks 45 like it, looks like at the open board or at least a two bedroom. Oh, I know, I've been on this a lot of the nurses, so when we get close enough. That looked like Alberta uh, second dots and it is, I think. The nurses are dressed so so nice. Mm -hmm. I hats. like the hats. <laughs> yes. They used to wear hats mandatory. Uh -huh. Well they got capped and that was quite a ceremony. Oh, yes. Sure it was real honor to get mm -hmm. your cap. That's right. Now we're going to oh, see it's the Orly Logan. It's pill time uh, for Dana. Uh, it's <laughs> Logan? Orly Logan. Uh -huh. yeah. She was a nurse. Oxygen at the bedside. Uh -huh. But no patient yet. <laughs> An empty bed, but look how neat. Oh, the nursery. And then we have <laughs> nurseries. <laughs> oh, that's the Lindora School. Yeah. I understand part of it's torn down. Yes, yeah, so I don't think it's all standing down, mm -hmm. though. I wonder how many students they had. It was big enough to. Oh, they had, it, it was they had a lot of students. I knew a couple of teachers down there. 
um, probably will see them. Um, Alma Hemphill <laughs> taught that new Oh, that's about the age I taught. They looked to be about uh -huh. six and seven years old. Uh -huh. Second grade, maybe, huh? Yes, I think so. And look how dressed up they are. Oh, Not a yes. single pair of jeans showing. No <laughs> way. Uh -uh. Yeah, we and and well-behaved, too. Ruth Jones, a teacher I knew. Now, is this Lindora <laughs> School, Mary? <laughs> yes, it is, I guess. Yes, I think so. Lindora School, yeah. It, it's either recess or they're getting ready to go home. You walk them to the curb. Oh, yes. You always walk the children that's out of the right, school did, and, uh -huh. and Indeed. down to the curb. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And then and you walked home. <laughs> <laughs> well, they may have been bust. I, uh, I don't know. Now, that's well, a little older. When group, I was in school, you walked. Yeah, me too. You walked Same here from here. Institute Hill down to the McKay Street for lunch, and you ran <laughs> home and you ran back. You had one hour yep. to get. Well, you know, people used to come in and stay with you during the school year. There were folks that would try to find a place for their daughter or their son to stay uh -huh. because they didn't have buses no. in high school. Oh, yes. Well, we ne my mother never knew how many kids would be <laughs> in bed with Bill would be playing basketball and the kids would miss their bus. So he'd uh -huh. say, come home with me. That was Earl Balder. He was a teacher. Oh, yes. No, he was a principal. He was a principal. Oh. Oh, yes. That was one place you never wanted to go. Yeah. Look at the traffic, the foot traffic yeah. on Main Street. My yeah. gosh. Stores were busy. Oh, People yes. were there. That had to be a Saturday, I'll bet. Yeah. All those folks out on the street. Yes, well, don't forget they weren't yeah. open on Sunday either. That's right. No <laughs> stores were open there. Is that Isley's? Oh, no. Isley's, you know. Uh -huh. Skyscraper uh -oh. yeah, was. Oh, that was um, Jaffe's, I think. Yes, Zimmerman's yes. store, and then mm, Jaffe's, Jaffe's had it. it. Uh huh. Yeah. Main That's it. Yeah, corner of Main and Jefferson Street. Right on. Oh boy, many a dress I bought in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and that was when Max was still living. Max. Oh yes, oh, Max Jaffe. Yeah, yes. Mr. Jaffe. Uh -huh. I Max Jaffe. He was quite a guy. He knew everybody. Yeah, we used to be in the Kiwanis Minstrel. He was Remember when we had the minstrels? Oh boy, Woolworths. Yeah. That was oh, a parking Lord. lot. I oh, love that store. Oh, there we oh, are. That's pennies? the Patrick's jewelry. Grants. Oh, is that Grants? I think so. Oh, Penny's oh, was yes, further down Grant's. the street. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, Penny's yeah. was in the old office. For Patrick's, it was there on the corner. Yeah. Uh oh, this is my little store. Maybe oh, that's the that was the first store. Oh. Here she There's comes. Betty Jane oh. Ackerman. I went to school with her. Oh my goodness. Sure, she was in my class at school. She had a very nice figure. She was a real nice girl. Now, one of the nests was a teacher. One of the yeah, that, and uh, one of them was this a doctor. is the one that ran yeah, the Max store. Was a yes, uh huh. This is the one that ran. That was a whole family, of yeah. Yeah. The teacher yeah. was the, the, the but that's where the they female. had the, the full picture of a girl diving on the uh, top. Oh, uh, that was it. Yeah. There's the high school. There's yeah. the high yep. school, which is now what junior high school. Junior high school. Yeah. yeah. Imagine, we remember we were with high heels and those marble stairs oh. and they had to go up and if you're awkward, you fall down the steps. <laughs> oh Junior dear. High School. Yep. Mm. Any idea when that was built? Yeah, it's on the front. 1917? Oh, I think it's 1917. There we are. Yeah. How about yeah. that? 1917. What a memory, Mary. <laughs> I know, I think that's wonderful. 88 and going strong. Oh, there's the <laughs> class of 1940. 
Yes. June, the June that? class, that is. Uh-oh. June. Oh, there's well, some. Yeah, I knew her as well as anything. Uh, Catherine Pierce. Um, she's right. Uh, Oh. Uh, oh, I love Catherine Darker. Do you remember? She sang. She had a oh, beautiful yes. voice. She had a beautiful voice. Oh, I remember yeah. her. She was a contralto of the family. Her sister was a high soprano. They were good. Oh, that looks like Julia Brown. Well, the cap and gown hasn't changed. No, no. They just come in colors now. They used to always be black. <laughs> this, these were all in black. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, Bill Conrad on the right. Mm. I think my brother graduated in 41, but he was in the January class. Oh, Howard Benzel on the back. Bill Forshee. He had a good voice. Oh, they really, Butler always had good bands and good choirs. Oh, our yes, bands were terrible when I was in school. Really? Oh, oh they stunk. <laughs> <laughs> were they bad? <laughs> I was going to oh, say it looks like Eddie Johnson yes. in the middle, and it probably was. We, I'm sure might, you're right. Uh -huh. I see my mother in here. Mother's Bridge oh, Club. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, there she is. Oh, there's Eddie. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And now, oh, that was Lee, Mary and Lee, remember? Uh, she was Mary, Howard Lee, they had the, the Sternum Club and Butler. Oh, that's right. Uh, and that's oh, an apartment now, oh, isn't it? Yes, sure, it's an apartment. Oh, there's B. Mack, I know that. That's okay. right. Uh-huh. Oh, and that's Pauline Martin, I know right at the desk. Oh, that's my mother. Yeah, well, that's oh, really? Mother. On the left there, Good, yes. that's Eva Gage. Yes. Eva Kearns, Eva Current engagement. Uh -huh. uh, Do they still uh, have an auxiliary? No. No, no I don't think they so. don't. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the Lions meeting. Yes. Now, you ought to see your dad here. I do, I do yes. Uh -huh. that's, that's at Dixon, I think. Oh, that's how it leads. Remember this? Yes. Him? Oh, that was Ward Jones, wasn't it? Yes, that's Ward Jones. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. That looked like Lee McCann. Oh, that's, 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 uh, that's Mac. Dad. That's my dad, right there on the right. Oh, yeah. Really? And, and uh, Ray Mack. Yeah. Uh, not Ray. Yeah, that was Ray. Yeah, Ray that, Mack. That's Victor K. Yeah, Victor K. Osterland. Uh huh. East Osterland, you said. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, and that's, Vernon Cohen, that's you remember you him? That's something your dad. Yeah, on uh -huh. Harry Pepper. Yeah. That's Harry, uh, Henry Johnson. Johnson, Hen, yes. Hen, Hen Johnson. Henry Johnson. Everybody called him Yeah. He yeah. yeah, had the pharmacy over in South Side. Right. That's right. Yeah. Spent a lot of time at the ice cream stand over there. He oh, had yeah. Lovely ice cream tables. I don't recognize him. Did you, Sam? No, I didn't. Hmm. No. Gee, I didn't recognize your dad <laughs> after you pointed him out of uh -huh. But he was much younger then. See, I, I worked with him when he was on the blind board. Oh, sure. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, that's course. right. Sure. Thanks for your time. We hope you enjoy the show. A special thank you to Lion Sam Osterling, Joan Chu, and Mary Phillips for their colorful comments and memories of Butler's past. We'd also like to thank the Butler Lions, past and present, for keeping these films for all these years. The Lions Club motto is, we serve. In Butler, your Lions Club helps many blind and visually impaired people through good times and bad. Through our fundraising efforts, like the broom and bag sale, Christmas tree sales, and this video, we're able to fund many good causes that would otherwise go unsupported in the Butler area. The Butler Lions Club is made up of business leaders, farmers, policemen, industry experts, and many others. Each brings his or her unique talents and gifts to better serve our community. If you or someone you know is interested in learning more about the Lions Club here in Butler, please visit us at Lions Club Butler PA. Dot org. And thanks again. Thank you.